Intracytoplasmic sperm injection, commonly called ICSI, is a slightly more involved method of insemination when compared to standard IVF insemination. ICSI is usually performed when there is a known sperm issue, if there have been previous problems with fertilisation, or for patients who require the sperm to be surgically removed from the testes. In the ICSI procedure, the scientists select a single, motile, normal-looking sperm with good DNA integrity and micro-inject it into the egg, thus giving the sperm a helping hand in penetrating the egg. A lot of the common footage that you would have seen used in the media regarding IVF is actually an ICSI procedure. Sperm is prepared for ICSI in the same way as for conventional IVF, just diluted further for easy sperm selection. Eggs are also collected in the same manner, but are then treated with an enzyme to remove the cells from around the outside of the egg so that they can be assessed for maturity. This process is called hazing or denudation. Only genetically mature eggs can be used in ICSI. The scientist then uses a pipette to inject the sperm directly into the egg. We expect the majority of eggs to be mature following an egg collection and expect around 60 to 70% of eggs that are micro-injected to fertilise. Sometimes, as with natural selection, some eggs will not fertilise despite the extra helping hand.